don't know what to do with my life. Brad isn't sure whether he's asleep or awake. Yeah. He only finds cookies and me. Oh, I was like, what are you talking? I was like, how do you, do you remember? You remember that? No. I, I wish I could actually watch like somehow like Mystery Science Theater, right, right, uh, five dollar right. wrestling, you know, like right. from behind, but. Um, Let's just do our film. Yeah, we'll do, okay, I'm sorry. All right, ready? And I want you to say it's the Milo Beasley Show. All right, I'm going to go do, 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 do. Okay, so say it's the Milo Beasley Show. It's the Milo Beasley Show. Do, 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 do. Episode number 57, 8, 9. Episode number 59. Holy crap. Uh, please welcome my co host for the third week in a row. Three. Wow, it's a three piece. Three is from his, magic number. From Amber Gertner. And our guest this week. David Pointe. What's up, y'all? And Princess Emily. Even though, even though Emily, you might have been beat out on the princess rank because um, Pointe kind of has a he has a crown. He has a tiara. And well, they, they call me Princess the Princess Whoa. Panda or the Panda Princess. Uh, that was my name for a minute because I do like wearing a tiara every now and again. For There's about that. Fifteen seconds. <laughs> I know she did. Well, she took the crown. But it's okay, I'll beat her and pin her, and then one day I'll also be princess again. Yeah, we Won't actually a... just had the Peruvian princess on the last episode. Was she really? Mm-hmm. How'd she do? Uh, she did good. She talked about Mexican food and Chinese food, so you know. Chinese food apparently is also Peruvian food. <laughs> <laughs> what? This guy, he just ate like a whole apple with his tongue. Okay, so for the folks of you who don't know what we're, what we're watching, because there's a TV on it, but you can't see it because... <laughs> You know, behind the camera. What? There's, a, there's a, a television show called Larva, and a, uh, supposedly it's for kids, correct? Supposedly. Supposedly it's for kids. Kids we, not on Molly. We saw an episode where these two, with the two main characters, red and yellow, they're Larva. They licked the man's butthole. Did you just touch me? I did. I didn't mean to. I, I realized. <laughs> You're not I was doing like, all. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh sorry. There's some thick ass slap. And then, and then they fell into his butt. Um, we saw one where they, yes. where the, what, they red, fell, red fell into a jar, and then all the other bugs... There was uh, a, fl a lot of flatulence going into the jar. Into the jar. But it made beautiful music, <laughs> so the bugs kept the, flatulating did into your, the jar? Did, I don't know. Did your flatulence make beautiful you, noises? No. I mean, well, I mean they, they make interesting noises, but I don't know about beautiful <laughs> ones. Let me tell you what just happened on this TV that I saw. This the, the red one was getting praised by all these people, and it was being treated like a king. And it started to eat. It, it had this long tongue, and it ate this apple whole. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this big, dopey-looking giant banana was like, uh, and they went to feed the red larva, and then he woke up from a dream. What? It was all. It was all. It was, it was all, all a dream. dream. Like yeah. lost. And then it's done. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no lost was not all a dream. That's a bogus oh, thing. No, it's not purgatory. Well, listen. Now listen, Alice in Danger is going to get into It's not purgatory either. Who? What happened is Who's the entire sh danger? the whole thing happened. It was all real. Everything that happened on the island actually happened. And then when they they everybody dies eventually. So that's what that whole last season was about. They were all dead after they had already died. But they couldn't move on into their own eternal happiness until they were coming together like it's I, I it just makes me I, I understand like everyone's like you answer my questions you answer my questions it's not about the questions they were all lost as individuals it wasn't that they were lost on an island they were lost as individuals and they finally met people that could mean something to them that they could then move on in life with and have meaningful relationships and that's what it's about that's what the show was about yeah that's that, what our show was about too and larva <laughs> oh well I mean this is I. I don't, I, I, you know, I still haven't even watched Adventure Time. Like, I've watched, like, an episode or two, and I can only... See, what? It's a human centipede, except they're, like, not centipeded. They're, like, the red one's thrusting. That, and the, the snail is wearing a thong. The snail is wearing a thong. It, I wish we could... We had one turn into an... I don't know if we could actually thing. show this. Like, we might are farting on the everybody. Camera. What? Turn the camera around. Just turn the camera around. It needs to be seen. I don't... I just it wish. Oh, uh, they missed. The, oh, we missed. The oh, we missed the entire. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that's that's twerking. That. He's, he's the, twerking. The twerker beetle. And that's the the. They were all just in a centipede line together, but not quite centipede. I think they're feeling shame now. They were also throwing. Now they're doing squats together. <laughs> they're in a conga line doing squats. <laughs> This is the greatest. So we told you you need to watch a show. Yeah. No, I don't. I can't. I. I. Uh, I feel like. Dirty. I feel like 
Well, no, I'm just like, shameful. No, no, no. Like, if I had a bunch of friends and we like didn't know what we were gonna do, or we just like hanging out, like I would gladly have this on in the background. Or this could totally be like a. This would be great for like a podcast review. Like just well, reviewing. Amber was thinking about periscoping. I'm thinking. Okay. About, let's periscope it. Why not? While we, this is so meta. We're periscoping while we're, we're, we're gonna we're periscope on the Milo Beasley show. Well, they're they're uh, just thrusting <laughs> each other. He's tonguing the the handle. The handle. It's, it's a match it's on like a, a it's on like, a toilet. It's the handle on the toilet is a match, and he just broke it, which then caused this. It's now a rocket. So, um, for 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 fans of wrestling. Um, who might wonder uh, who Puente is. He's actually been on quite a few shows, but you've never seen his face. And that is because you are the man behind the camera, actually, right? Yeah. Well, they might have seen you, you they know, from the hard cam. might have seen me every once in a while. You yeah. know, like, uh, you know, from a uh, hard cam uh, view. So how long have you actually been doing the camera work? How did, like, how did that start? Uh, it started about nine years ago. I, uh, I started doing uh, FIP for, like, Sal and... Um, I used to go to the shows as a huge fan of like Ring of Honor and all the wrestlers like with Ring of Honor So like going to those shows was like a huge thing and they were like, oh, you know, CM Punk's coming here like uh, Like, you know, Homicide and all these guys Hey, Rich Swan, Swan, would you like to be? I'm telling my life story, you know, it's fine that you know, you always have the interviews and I never do But that's cool, you know, go ahead And I was coming in here mocking me too Rich Swan, I rhymed your name with Yoshi Kwan last night I love you, Rich Swan I've known this guy since he started. He's a good dude. A little bit after he started. He was about two years in. Yeah. Good dude. I love him. But, um... Get out of the camera! I'm in the camera. <laughs> so, uh... Oh, yeah, don't so, talk I love you, Rich Swan. I'm you sorry too. I couldn't get a hug, but Ooh. Princess Emily... Uh, how are you? But, uh, but yeah, so, um... Yeah, so that's how I started, and then within a year, uh, Ring of Honor needed, uh, was doing, yeah... And it's the Milo Music show. show. All at the same we're, time. All, same we're all time. so meta here. This is like the best time ever. Thank you. I'm like an excellent kind of. So, um, so I did, um, I, I did a pay per view for Ring of Honor, and they wanted to fly me out. I'm like, okay. And then I became full time with Ring of Honor, which was a, a dream job, and it just kind of snowballed from there. I mean, I literally, anytime everybody ever asked me, like, how did you get into wrestling? I was like, I just fell into accent, it. Accent. I literally fell and into it. And you actually like. like I don't mean. I hope this doesn't sound wrong, but you actually quit it at one time, right? I've quit twice. <laughs> right, just absolutely. Quit. I'm the Terry Funk of of, bring up, of wrestling <laughs> oh. cameraman. <laughs> so you actually quit, and then yeah. you're like, I'm never working again. Sal called, and then next thing you know, you're back it on. Was, the... I mean, it was a little bit more than that. Like the Keep first time I got guys, larva's still in the background. <laughs> <laughs> don't oh man, it's. I mean, it's a little bit more than that. Like I. Um, you know, I, I quit the first time to get away from Ring of Honor, and then uh, Gabe Sapolsky wanted my help with, like, Dragon USA and Evolve, and this is actually before Evolve, but it was, like, Dra- Dragon USA, and, and I felt, like, I felt in debt to him, because, you know, he I felt like he was one of the bigger people that really uh, did a lot for me and uh, looked after me. I mean, there was a lot of people in Ring of Honor that looked after me. Everybody did, but, um, but he was the one that I kind of, like, associated with, and... I felt Ring of Honor was Gabe Sapolsky. Like, a lot of Ring of Honor, what made Ring of Honor special, I mean, obviously it was wrestlers like Samoa Joe and CM Punk and all these guys, but, like, it wasn't, it was it was his vision behind it that pieced it all together. And so, uh, so yeah, that's that's when I, I, I was really excited about Dragon Gate USA. I loved the Dragon Gate USA roster, and every, or their Dragon Gate roster, you know, everything that they did was phenomenal. So, yeah, and then, uh, and then the second time I quit, um, you know, I just... <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like a wrestler story. Right? Oh, man. Yeah, you don't want to know. The second time I quit, um, you know, it just kind of had to be done for a lot of uh, silly things. and um, But I'd always wanted to work Shimmer. I always told, like, Dave, I said, look, dude, you know, whatever you need me for, Prezak, uh, I'll gladly do. Like, Shimmer kind of became where I actually had friends in the wrestling business. Like, besides, like, people I kind of grew up with, like, with Frankie Gaston, the ref, and... You know, a few other people. Because you're one of the girls. And, yeah, and then I became kind of one of the girls, pretty much, and uh, and it, it just felt like family, you know, because you're in a hotel room for four days, and you know, so it just became family. So yeah, it was, uh, and I and still to this day, like I feel like I'll I'll do Shimmer till to my dying day, just because I uh, praise actually the other one. <clears throat> Two people who, who who've done beyond what they should have done for me is Dave Praise that Gabe Sapolsky, and like those two, you know, Sal gave me like a huge opportunity and. Uh, but yeah, praise like I, I will to the end of time. You know, as long as he's running Shimmer, like will gladly help him with anything he does. So, and again, I love love Miss Beautiful Amber G and Aww. everyone else that goes through Shimmer. So, 
And uh, when I first met you, you did not look anything like this, right? <laughs> correct? I love that your metal head look. So, um, so for the, you know, you hear you, I you know, short haircut, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So uh, how was that? How was that look? You know. Uh, so I was, uh, I was pretty metal. I was pretty metal. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I had really long hair. It ended up being uh, right down to my lower back, uh, above my, my booty crack, before I cut it. Uh, and I always joked, like, when I was in high school, I, I, I wore glasses, and I had this goatee. Uh, and sometimes I'd have a mustache, too, this mustache with this, like, long kind of goatee. And I always joked in high school, I was like, yeah, if I, uh, you know, if I ever, like, get contacts, I'll just shave my head and shave my face, and no one will ever recognize me. And, you know, some personal stuff was going on with a, a girl, typically. And, um... And I was just like, you know, it's time to just like, just move on and just m kind of move into this new chapter of my life. And so I just, I just shaved off my head, got con I, li I literally set up an appointment to get contacts, got my contacts. I think my, my glasses broke is what it was. And I was like, yeah, let me go get contacts. Oh, no. Yeah, let me just do what I've always said I was going to do. And I just did it. And then from then on, I just kind of, you know, sort of metro thing that you see in front of you. But I don't know how to dress, so I don't even know if that's yeah. even accurate. I can take you out dress shopping. <laughs> I bet you could. So, uh, real quick, the next thing we want to do is the Milo Beasley Show Top 5. Okay. And uh, as you said, you are um, uh, your, your family yeah. with the, the Shimmer Shine yeah. um, uh, company, as it may be. Your top five favorite Shimmer athletes. Fa uh, favorite Shimmer athletes. Uh, immediately Madison Eagles. After that... Um, That's because you don't want to get stabbed with a fork, dude. Yeah, and she's ruthless with it. Um, Even though she seems to get caught a lot, you know, yeah, she, like you stopping would... the broadcast. <laughs> I don't want to give away the top five on Paris. <laughs> <laughs> I know I should have went backwards. I totally just gave it. In. I gave up with. Like I, I led with the uh, the bad thing. I should have gone the other way. Um, yeah, Madison Eagles, just because she's just incredible. Um, uh, Nicole Matthews uh, is a big one. Current champion, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is, she is the champ, and uh, she's a little bit devious. But I mean, she's somebody who, who actually just really worked hard, and I mean, I, I love all the effort that she put in. Always willing to get better, and always wanting to. I mean, you know, and she. And was, she did the mud run with us. Where she did. Puente and I were named some of the top women uh, wrestlers in, in the country <laughs> by PWI. So thank you, PWI. Yeah, yeah, that was good times. <laughs> um, you know, you got to look at people like Lacey. Lacey's definitely in the top five. I She's probably definitely going to be number three. Um, she she started from the very beginning and just really like brought the kind of wrestling to it. You know, her people like Sarah Del Rey, uh, and then I guess after her would definitely be Sarah Del Rey. I mean, you know, it's another top mind who's who's just been incredible with everything that she did for building the company to what it is and being kind of setting the standard. Uh, she was definitely one of the top people, and uh, I just I guess I better suck up and just say uh, Alice in Danger, don't kill me. Um, you know. I love you, Alice yeah. in Danger. Who doesn't love Alice? I guess. Uh, you know, uh, have you met her? I mean, she's kind of... This is where you get stabbed, Michelle. Oh she's God. number five, though. She's, she's, yeah, she's number five. She's, she's number five. Top she's top number five, so she can't stab me. You can't do it. Um, but I will tell you one of my favorite wrestling moments, and Frankie Gassino just brought it up. I was in Chicago. It was uh, Delirious versus uh, Adam Pierce in this crazy match and like there were tables, there was like chains, it was all sorts of shenanigans. I think it was a dog collar match is what it was. And so like the the, uh, the end of the match involved a table and uh, this is in front of like 600 people or whatever, it's crazy. And um, we had the, these new like ring crew guys and one of them was just a dummy. Just absolute That never dummy. happens with the ring crew guys. <laughs> I was like, what? Ring crew. Absolute oh. dummy. Like his first question, this is one of my favorite yeah. stories too, is when his first question when he started training with Delirious is, he goes, he, you know, Delirious does this thing and he's like, did anybody have any questions? Yeah. And he's just like, like yes. Oh, have you ever taken a Styles Clash? <laughs> Amazing! Like that sets the tone for the rest of this guy. So, I'm asking so a question. It sets the tone for this guy, right? So he he gets in the ring to clean up. There's nobody cleaning up this thing. Thank Sorry, you. This is spotlight on. Princess, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Um, so there's no one cleaning up the ring, and uh, PJ Drummond comes out, and uh, and 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 he's he's trying to sweep up the ring of the table debris, and he he's working this broom. Like it's a vacuum cleaner. He's going forward. He's coming backwards, forward, backwards. He's not moving. He's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So finally, like everyone's just like, "No, it's a push broom, you 
done it, the tr- crowd's going crazy. So um, oh, this was like, with, like still the show. The this show wasn't like after the show. No, this oh, okay. still like four uh-huh. matches. Uh-huh. I, mean, okay, I thought I was thinking main event. You no, know, he's trying to. No, uh-huh. there's, there's, sh- there's still more show to go. So PJ Drummond comes out and like, gives him the style splash. Any, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if this story did not end like that. Uh, I wish I would have told that story now. So, uh, <laughs> no, so like PJ Drum comes out and I go and, uh, and, uh, and there, there, this, there's like a this is awesome chant. There, everyone's just like, boo. And so finally, like, I said, uh, I said, like, I said, pretty great, right? He's like, yeah, but he needs to hurry it up because, like, Gabe's losing his mind back there. And I was like, all right. So I let it go and I get in the ring. I take the broom from him. The entire place goes crazy. I can't stop smiling. It's like one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me. They're like, ah. It's Ricky Bobby. You probably got streamers. Dude, I got streamers. Five star sweep. Sweep of the year. Like, it was the coolest coolest thing that's ever happened to me. Sweep of the year. And I'm like, and I'm like, just sweep it up. Like, just going crazy. Clean out the ring. And then I get out, and then that's when they like they throw streamers. I got a standing ovation from like at least ten people. <laughs> it was it was magical, Jesus, right? I remember when it made the observer year of awards. Yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> sweep of the year. Sweep of the year, yeah. absolutely. Don't, don't patronize. Me. Honorable mention. It was the year. <laughs> right under there. Honorable mention. Honorable mention. But yeah, so uh, it's been a weird ride. So you know, thank you, and uh, it's been awesome. Yeah, you too. Like I've, I mean, I've known you for God. Remember that show in the. In Gainesville, where you uh, you wrestled a broom, I, I, I mean it did, that wasn't the show. It wasn't the show, the show it didn't happen. It wasn't on the that show. push broom. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 it was a, a broom, regular broom. Broom went over, <laughs> of course. I'll put anybody over it as long as you pay me. <laughs> Job squad, pay me, pay me. Hey man, pay me, pay me. I don't care. I need to eat. I mean, well, actually, lately I've been eating pretty well at the shelter. Um, oh. I've not been working out, but I've been eating. Oh. All the bread you can don't eat. Forget, don't forget about the. It's uh, not like Russia. Don't forget about the run that you got coming up. Yeah. Dopey. So, uh, anything else before we wrap it up? You want to let people know where they can find you on uh, Instagram, Twitter? You, you yeah, know. my Instagram and my uh, my Twitter are the same. T E L E U T E D P U. That's Tell You D P U. And you so. can find me on there. You can follow me. My Twitter is usually the offensive things that pop into my head, mm. and then my Instagram is a little bit more clean. Um, just you know, silly pictures that either amuse me or something that I just love and appreciate. So, cool. And we got anything? Uh... I have nothing. At, Am- <laughs> at she, Amber she's, Gertner, y'all. She's <laughs> not at Amber Gertner, y'all. She's not been like paying attention to anything except for Laura. Laura. No.